So I am back to Pescadero. Uh, there's light wind today, big waves, uh, lots of atmosphere, lots of moisture in the atmosphere. So I'm gonna kind of do a similar composition to something I've done in the past, but um, as I've said before, every time you paint, you know, a plein air location, it's always different. So I'm thinking of doing something like this, which is a composition I've done before, uh, but I've never painted when the weather is quite like this. Um, there's a lot of moisture in the atmosphere, so I'm gonna use atmospheric perspective to push these rocks off into the distance. And then the waves are really big, so I'm gonna try to capture um, some large waves too, especially right out along here. So I've got my Anderson easel today uh, and I'm painting on a 14 by 18 inch panel. I'm gonna be using liquid as my medium and I've got odorless mineral spirits in a brush washer. Uh, assortment of brushes, I'm probably gonna be mostly focusing on using these natural bristle um, brushes, number eight, number six, and do I have a number four in there? Oh, I thought I did, I guess I don't. Oh no, there it is. Yeah, number four. Uh, my usual palette of colors, although I did squeeze out some cobalt teal, uh, which is nice for the seawater. One of the most common questions is how I carry wet panels, and this is a wet panel carrier from Raymar, so that's how I'm gonna carry the painting home. Okay, so I toned my panel uh, using burnt sienna that I thinned with odorless mineral spirits and just kind of sketched out, you know, the composition. And I've done this before, like I said, where I have, you know, the, the rocks going out kind of on the third using rule of thirds. And then I'm keeping the horizon high because there's not a lot going on in the sky. If there were more clouds, I might, you know, have more of the sky included, but since there's not much happening, I figure I will uh, keep the sky portion fairly narrow and then focus mostly on the waves. I mean, there's a lot of white water here. Um, so I'm gonna try to paint unbroken waves that have some dark green color in them and then incorporate some of that, you know, that green in here, although it'll be even lighter. I um, mean, it'll be lighter in uh, tone than out there. But anyway, that's the idea. Okay, so I used a mixture of alizarin crimson and ultramarine blue thinned with liquid and odorless mineral spirits just to indicate where the dark parts of the rocks are. Also sort of indicating some direction uh, for like some of these rocks here. And I don't need this to be super detailed. I just wanna, you know, get an idea of what the composition is gonna look like. Um, so now I'm gonna start, um, you know, blocking in the sky. So I'm gonna use a mixture of ultramarine, titanium white, and a little bit of burnt sienna, and a little bit of yellow ochre. And I'm mixing in some liquid. Okay, so the color of the water is sort of a dull green, like a gray green. Here's the sky color, and so I know it's also darker in value, so I'm just gonna mix next to this pile of, uh, or the sky color here. Again, using some liquid. mixing up a color for the light portion of the rocks using dioxazine purple and yellow ochre and a bit of titanium white.
Okay, so there's the composition and obviously I need to darken things, but um, you know, I like the shapes. So the next thing is gonna be darkening, you know, like starting to put in the dark portions of the rocks. And I'm using a mixture of ultramarine and burnt sienna, which is actually sort of a dark green. Um, and so I'm gonna, you know, start with that. I want the white water to really pop out. I want that to be kind of a defining feature. Uh, so I've made the sky, you know, actually darker than I'm seeing it. Uh, and I kind of like stormy, dark, purplish skies anyway. Um, and now I'm gonna start working on the water. Okay, so here is the finished product. Uh, the weather changed completely, actually. It started off overcast and misty like this, but then by the time I was finished, the sun had come out. Actually, I really like the energy in the water here. Uh, there's some nice warm and cool going on in the rocks. You know, these warm areas of sort of orangish uh, yellow ochre. And then the rocks were wet and so from all the mist and so they were sort of reflecting the purplish blue of the sky. I do feel like there's a nice sense of depth here. The rocks in the distance, there's lower contrast and slightly higher value and cooler in color. And then also I added titanium white and ultramarine to create some sort of mist and atmosphere over the water as well. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you'd like to see some extra videos and help support the channel, there's a Patreon link down below. Other than that, stay creative and I will see you guys in the next video.